Hi team, many thanks for grabbing this punch bag tutorial. Over the next few minutes, I'm gonna to explain to you my five most commonly seen mistakes on the punch bag. Now, these mistakes at best will be slowing progress, but more than likely will actually be taking away from your boxing skills. So, without further ado, let's move on to my five most commonly seen punch bag mistakes. Mistake number one is no footwork. So you'll get your boxer just stood in front of the bag, pinging off shots and just standing still. No footwork whatsoever. I'll probably mention this a few times as we go through the tutorial, but punch bag work, you have to almost use your imagination and make sure that you're always boxing a real opponent. So I don't want to see people stood still on the spot. What I want to see is a lot more movement on the toes. Okay, so that's more realistic. And like anything we're going to try and do, it's going to transfer over into the ring when we spar. Number two, you may have seen me doing it then. No defense. So just stood in front, well, we might have the footwork now, so we might be moving around, which is a defense in its own, but not thinking about what might be coming back, just constantly being aggressive on the bag. What we need to do is think, what could be coming back? It should be slipping, moving ahead of a punch line, then firing back, moving the feet. Oh, little roll, and up, hand defenses. Jab, parry, jab, yeah? Jab, parry, jab, back down, move. Move, hook. Got the headshot, boom, come back my own hook. Now I'm thinking about my defenses as well as, obviously, my offense. Next one up then, hitting the bag at the wrong time. So we teach our boxers to try and bring our opponents onto the punch, and that's what we need to be doing with the punch bag. So rather than punching as it swings away and having little to no effect, we're now going to be striking it as it comes, we should be striking it as it comes towards us. So what we don't want to see is a wildly swinging punch bag because we're punching it at the wrong time. Yeah, what we want to see is bringing the punch bag, or bringing our opponent onto our shots. So as it swings in, that's where we want to hit it. This punch bag doesn't move an awful lot, but it does move. Now, See, so what we're doing is we're bringing the punch bag or the opponent onto the shots. And the swings towards us, boom, that's when we take the shot. Now, see these punch bags are quite close to the wall. Uh, you could obviously, going back to the footwork point, <coughs> you could obviously move around the bag. And what we can do <coughs> is when the bag's moving away from you, use your feet to follow it. And when it's moving towards you, you can now Move your feet away. Okay, so now we're working footwork. I forgot to mention on the last point. Okay, um, so we've mentioned um, uh, we've mentioned footwork, mentioned defence, mentioned the wrong timings. Now let's mention pace. A lot of the time we'll see one pace. Now that could be a fast pace, or it could be a slower pace. It all depends on um, how interested the boxer is, um, and obviously what they've done previously and how fit they're feeling. So what I mean by one pace is you'll see all fast, bam, 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 all the same pace, yeah. Or uh, you'll see the slow boxer. Now move. They, they might be doing their feet. They might be working their hand defence. But it's all one pace. Again, we teach our boxers to change the pace in the ring. Got to do the same on the punch bag. So we might start off with a couple of shots, moving around, nice and slow. <laughs> We might change the pace. And slow it down again. So changing the pace of the work that we're doing. It will help also help with the energy systems that we require when we're in the ring. Last but not least, less about the technique, more about actual punch bag itself. Punching too low. So if we're punching down here, I mean, are they body shots? Are they head shots? What, what are they? All right, so punching too low is real common. So if we're throwing a head shot, it's got to be your chin high, you know? If we're throwing a body shot, it's got to be 
your body shot height. Well, what we're doing, we'll do is start punching here. Yeah, we're gonna try chest shots. All right, so everything's um, at the correct height. So let's imagine your punch bag is uh, your opponent, obviously, and it's the same, and, or she's the same height as you. So let's go through it from the top. We want footwork. So we're moving with the feet all the time. We want defenses. So we are looking at uh, working on defenses. We want to punch the bag at the right time. So we're swinging away. So we swing towards them. And that's when we want to punch. And then we can follow them, can't we? Backwards and forwards. Or we might get a strike and then move off of it. Uh, one pace, we want to avoid that. So mixing up the pace. <laughs> okay, with the pace, you can mix up the power as well. Two things really go hand in hand. And lastly, making sure we're not punching. Here for the head and here for the body. Guys, that was my five commonly seen punch bag mistakes. Hope you enjoyed it. Hope you're going to take something away from it. When you're ready, why don't you check out our website, check out our online products, and let's help you learn to box online. Thanks again. Speak to you soon.